Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick. It has been a decently quiet morning so far, a few sprinkles across the area. We don't have a lot going on for right now, but there is that possibility of seeing some stronger weather heading our direction as we get into Saturday. Maybe the possibility of some severe weather back in the Mid-South, but for travelers out there, the really good news is that we're not seeing any winter weather heading our way, but there still could be some wet conditions out there as we go throughout the next couple of days. Stay tuned. We'll detail that forecast for you in just a little bit. Plus, only a couple of days left. Matter of fact, only two days left in hurricane season. We'll take a look at what's going on, if anything, in the tropics. And again, keep an eye on what's going on with travel out there. We'll take a look at airline delays and see if there's any problems waiting for you from the FAA. So stay tuned for more on that. Joining us this morning from wherever you happen to be, drop your location into the comments section. Let's see again what's going on out there where it comes to anything involving uh, your travel conditions out there. Again, temperatures, you put that thermometer outside the kitchen window to good use, and let's see what's going on where you are. If you can't stick around for our entire weather blog, that's cool. We take about 10 to 15 minutes here to update everybody on the weather. And again, taking a look at what's going on with the forecast, scrolling by here at the bottom portion of your screen, or you can catch our 7 to 10 day forecast looking again down to the bottom section of the screen. Again, it's wreg.com slash weather for more information on that one. Pat Mathis, will it rain during the game? Uh, not sure which one you're talking about. There's a few of them this weekend in parts of the Mid-South uh, and beyond. We'll hopefully, again, get a, be getting rid of most of the rainfall, but we'll be seeing those showers stick around through about Sunday. So if you're heading off to anything elsewhere, it could be some travel problems in those locations as well. But we'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Rest of the day today, again, heading into the weekend, we'll be looking at the possibility of some scattered showers and temperatures just below normal in the lower 50s for today, so a little cooler than normal across portions of the Mid-South area. Tomorrow, the temperatures ascend quickly, and we should be seeing some more breezy conditions across much of the Mid-South area. So temperatures will be well above normal on Saturday in the mid to upper 60s. Sometimes, not always, again, that big ascent in temperatures can signal the possibility of some more stern and weather out there. Again, we'll be watching that uh, very carefully uh, into and around the area for right now. So we'll be watching for that potential for some stronger weather coming through as we go into Saturday. We'll detail that for you coming up in just a little bit. Yesterday, definitely below normal for Thanksgiving Day. 48 was the official high temperature, well below the record high set back in 1927, and about a category below where we should be for this time of the year. 42, the low temperature yesterday, Pretty close to normal, not bad, and no official precipitation for Thursday in the Mid-South area. We are still way ahead for the year by 21-plus inches, so we've gotten plenty of rainfall for 2019. Don't really need too much of anything else in the, main in the meantime for that. Taking a look at the Grove in Oxford, clear at least where it comes to people. Not much going on for this morning and looking at some pretty chilly conditions, not exactly bone-jarring cold. Oxford Airport at 48 degrees, calm winds, 66% humidity into and around the area of north central Mississippi. Northern Mississippi around Olive Branch from Squawk 1111's weather underground web camera showing overcast skies. 46 degrees being reported at the Olive Branch Airport for this morning. Golf carts lined up and ready to go into and around the area of Windyke Country Club in southeast Memphis. So expecting a busy day on the course, assuming there's not much rain coming out of these clouds. So if you're heading out the door for a round of golf, Kind of brisk, a little breezy, and some raindrops out there. Big question, of course, what's going on with travel into and around the Mid-South? What we've got is, again, the scattered showers coming on through, but mainly cloudy skies. Visibility from our I-240 and Airways camera is good. We can see, again, back to the airport with little, if any, problems where it comes to anything involving rainfall for right now, so that's good news. Likewise, from the Federal Aviation Administration, green airplane icon denotes delays of 15 minutes or less, so things at Memphis International are moving along quite nicely at this time, so we could see, again, the possibility of, again, the, the slowdowns taking place later today, but again, for right now, things are moving along pretty well. More information directly from the FAA at their website, fly.faa.gov. Or again, very easy to get that information. Go to wreg.com slash weather again for more information on there. Uh, let's see, Patty Danley Bradshaw, weather for the Memphis-Cincinnati game at about 2.30. 
Uh, we'll time that out for you coming up in just a little bit, so stay tuned uh, for more on that. Welcome to everybody else checking in from across the Mid-South uh, and beyond. Raining in Blyville, Diana Stacy, thank you very much for that. Merle McDaniel, Jackson, Tennessee, light rain and 44. Thank you very much for that weather report. And everybody else checking in from around the rest of the area for this morning. We'll keep an eye on the travel conditions throughout the rest of Friday and the rest of the weekend. So keep it tuned to the weather experts for more updates on that. A few speckles of rain on the camera lens from I-240 in Poplar from the Hilton East Memphis. Traffic on I-240 at Poplar a lot less than it usually is on early Friday morning. So if you're traveling this morning, not much of a problem there with those extra dots of rain. Definitely want to slow down. And remember, if it's raining during daylight hours and your windshield wipers are operating, your headlights have to be on. That's state law. That's safety for everybody. So please, again, make certain that you're following the rules on that to make certain you're just as visible to everybody else as everybody else should be to you. Again, so let's be careful again across much of the area there. Connie Ramsey Ray, 42, cool and cloudy in Selmer, Tennessee. Thank you very much for that one. Numerous winter weather warnings in effect from the Great Lakes to the West Coast through the desert southwest and the Intermountain Rockies. So if you're planning on traveling anywhere, say, uh, west of Topeka to Denver, Minneapolis down to Phoenix or even around El Paso, you're looking at some pretty slow conditions, maybe even some stopped traveling conditions, especially in the Intermountain West, Las Vegas, Billings, Denver, Salt Lake City, windy, cold, cloudy, foggy, snowy, depending on where you're located. So a lot of activity going on into the areas here. This storm system is going to be passing us back to the north and to the east. So we're not going to be seeing a direct impact on winter weather, but the energy of this system will be affecting us into the weekend with maybe some severe weather coming up. Now, as of right now, what we've got is just light scattered showers, and that's about it. That's, again, happening at just past 8 o'clock Friday morning. And most of that activity north of the Tennessee state line I-40 into around eastern Arkansas, seeing the heaviest activity for there. And some more scattered showers developing west of Little Rock. Those will be heading across the state into and around eastern Arkansas throughout the rest of the morning. So be prepared for some more raindrops if you're heading west toward Little Rock, Conway, Russellville, and the Dardanelles, even as far over as Fort Smith, Salisaw and Oklahoma and Tulsa could be looking at some more scattered showers over into that location. Now back to the east of the Mississippi River, West Tennessee picking up the heaviest showers again so far just past 8 o'clock this morning. Just to the south of the Tennessee state line, again there's really not much of anything going on. A few sprinkles from around walls all the way back to just about Corinth right along that state line area but not much of anything else and most of that taking place to the east of the metro area and just showers. We've had no reports of any thunderstorms just yet and not realistically expecting anything to happen like that today. Tomorrow, that could be a different story. Uh, we'll talk about that one for right now as we go throughout the uh, rest of the area. Annette Bright, Bartlett's weather expecting rain. We'll take a look at that forecast coming up here in a little bit. Brittany Wilbanks, weather for tomorrow. Likewise, stay tuned for the uh, seven-day forecast. We'll have that for you coming up here in just a little bit. Live, real-time, on your side, weather across the Mid-South. Some of the warmest numbers that we could find back in the mid to upper 40s. So if you're heading out for early breakfast this morning with the family, getting some errands done, doing that shopping out there. It is going to be kind of breezy a little bit, not much. Some winds over five miles per hour, so we are looking at a little bit of a wind chill, not much, but it is still going to be enough for a good jacket or even a light coat for this morning. And I want to take the umbrella with you just in case as we see that potential of these off and on showers throughout the rest of the morning, midday, early, mid, late afternoon, and right on into this evening. Again, not looking at deluge or flash flooding, but we are going to be seeing the potential of, again, some problems out there where it comes to rain on the windshields and the roadway surfaces. So that could be a bit of a problem with, again, some travel out there for right now. Scattered light showers again through mid to late this morning from the metro area, west Tennessee, eastern Arkansas, and northern Mississippi. So basically, if you're in the Mid-South, you do stand a chance of getting some raindrops not really much more than that throughout the rest of the day. So again, we're going to be seeing that continue off and on through mid-afternoon. So maybe an early matinee at the movie theater with the family or an early dinner out someplace. 
those chances of rainfall will continue across the area from eastern Arkansas through West Tennessee and northern Mississippi. Again, I'm not looking at anything in the way of downpours or severe weather, but it is going to be enough to mess up the windshield. So a little bit of extra time to get to where you're going today would be a marvelous idea. And again, don't forget to get those headlights on so everybody can see you out there as well. Now, past about News Channel 3 at 10, we may see kind of a lull taking place as not much rain is expected on the computer models into and just past midnight. But tomorrow morning, those showers re-intensify. And there could be the possibility of some thunderstorms firing up into and around daybreak on Saturday. Now, for Saturday afternoon and evening, first of all, there's nothing going on for today. No severe weather expected for Friday. Tomorrow, the forecast has the Mid-South area in a marginal threat for severe weather. A higher slight risk is seen just to our south. So the main threat of severe weather, southern Arkansas, West Central Mississippi, Northern Louisiana. This will be the main threat area for tomorrow. Now this forecast from the Storm Prediction Center is already several hours old. We'll be getting an update around midday, so another three to four hours before the next update comes out. We could see an intensification coming up. Either way, even though it's not much, this marginal risk does still mean there is a threat of severe weather. So again, you need to keep it tuned to News Channel 3 no matter where you are in the viewing area and we'll keep you an eye as to what's going on out there. Sunday looks dry and very breezy, so windy for travelers, but no rainfall to worry about past the morning hours, so not much of a problem there. Now, what are we looking for? Again, it's going to be less of a threat here, better possibilities south of the Mid-South for strong storms out there. And the main threat for right now is going to be from anything occurring with damaging winds. The winds out across the atmosphere, the shear out there is going to be just enough with winds moving at different levels, speeds, at different levels of the atmosphere. And that right there can create a spin which translates into tornadoes. So we cannot rule that out across the Mid-South. Uh, for those of you out there who are complaining, well, we're just trying to frighten people, no. This is what we do to let you know what the potential is of what's going on. We're not doing any fear-mongering here. Thank you very much. This is part of our job to let you know what's going on. Now, the main problem we've got is, again, loose limbs, stuff out by the curb, garbage, stuff like that could be really blown around. Not to mention the fact that we could be looking at some damaging winds out there. The soil is already very saturated, so any trees out there with those roots, keeping the trees up, if those roots are wet with the soil, those things could topple over very easily, as we could see some of those winds easily topping 55 miles per hour in some of these storms. So it's a good bet that if we get some severe weather, the main threat is going to be damaging winds. Not so much in the way of hail, not so much in the way of flash flooding, but again, we'll be watching for anything like that happening. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that through daybreak and throughout the rest of the morning out there. All right, <clears throat> excuse me, running the numbers into the rest of the day. Again, cloudy with showers. No big changes taking place from early morning into this afternoon with numbers back in the lower 50s for highs and mostly cloudy skies out there. Showers and thunderstorms beginning in the early morning, continuing through midday and going into the rest of the afternoon and evening. Best potential for severe weather will be mid to late afternoon into early evening around and after sunset. So keep it tuned to the weather experts for more on that. Now, early on Sunday morning, there could be that potential of some rainfall but we're talking like right after midnight or so. After that, we're looking at clearing skies, dry conditions, plenty of sunshine, definitely cooler out there. And also for Sunday, you're going to have a west to northwesterly wind of 10 to 20 miles per hour. And some of those wind gusts above and beyond that could top 25 to maybe 30 miles per hour. So if you're traveling north-south on area roadways, you're going to have those winds pushing against your vehicle, so that could make it a little choppy out there. So Sunday for travel on the roads, definitely want to prepare for the possibility of some slowdowns where it comes to either debris on the roadway or, again, watching what goes on with the damaging winds out there from those storms, knocking stuff over and around. Could be a lot of stuff on the roadways coming up early Sunday morning, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more updates on that. Now, again, big surge in the temperatures for Saturday, cooling off for Sunday. 
full force of that cold air moves in for Monday. So high temperatures heading back to work or school on Monday. We'll be back in the lower to mid 40s only and at the bus stop early on Monday morning. The kids waiting for the school bus better bundle up because it'll be breezy and very chilly with temperatures back in the mid 30s. So some pretty cold numbers out there walking, bike riding, or waiting for the school bus. Dry throughout the rest of the week and as we go into next weekend, Late showers on Thursday, better chances on Friday, not much of a chance next Saturday. And again, looking at some stray showers coming up by next Sunday, but too warm for anything but rainfall out there. Now again, through the rest of the day today for those football games, outdoor activities, tree lighting ceremonies, anything like that, may want to go ahead and take the umbrella with you just to be on the safe side as we see those chances of rain sticking around out there. Not, again, flash flooding territory, but just enough to get you wet. And in temperatures like this, that's going to chill you down. So let's make certain to bundle up and get some rain protection out there just to be on the safe side. Good news at this point for the Gulf, the Caribbean, the Western and Central Atlantic. What's left of our last storm system making its way out into the Atlantic? Not really much of a problem for us, though, and for the roughly just less than two days in hurricane season, which ends again Tomorrow, officially over Sunday, December the 1st, National Hurricane Center is showing nothing developing out there for the next two to five days. So very good news where the tropics are concerned. But this storm system here across the country could cause some snarls coming up as we go into Sunday evening for parts of the northeastern Great Lakes, wow. mid-Atlantic states. So that's where we could see some problems there. So please keep that in mind if you are going to be traveling. We'll keep our eyes on the tropical weather just to be on the safe side. Again, if you're traveling for today, outdoor activities, games, tree lighting, parade ceremonies, shopping, anything like that, you will have those showers around and about. Heavier times almost non-existent at others. Those rain showers are just going to keep coming and going across the Mid-South off and on, so please remember that uh, for anything in the way of travel. Going shopping today, please keep an extra couple of eyes out in those parking lots for those uh, pedestrians out there who may or may not notice you driving along, carrying the packages under one arm and using the umbrella for the other. So again, definitely a time to stay updated as to what's going on with the weather out there. Chilly, but not overly cold. Temperatures, again, back in the lower 50s out across the Mid-South. Keep up to date with our forecast throughout the weekend and beyond at wreg.com slash weather. We'll keep you updated there. Also, don't forget about our app. If you'd like to keep up to date with what's going on in and around the Mid-South area where it comes to your weather forecast, we'll keep you updated there as well as being on air. So definitely want to stick around for more there. Quick check of the forecast into the Persian Gulf. Not everybody can make their way home during the holidays. So for our American servicemen and women who are overseas in and around this area, temperatures Friday evening in the Persian Gulf back in the upper 70s with mostly clear skies. We'll take a look at weather where the troops are, numerous locations coming up on my Facebook page that'll be later on this morning. So definitely want to stay tuned for more on that and we'll let you know where and when that happens. But stay tuned to my Facebook Periscope and Twitter pages for more updates there. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything on here you would like to see, and welcome to everybody who's tuning in for this morning. Drop me a line at austin.onic at wreg.com. I'd love to have you along for the ride, and anything you'd like to see on here, let us know, and we'll see if we can throw that in on future weathercasts just to keep you updated. And again, thank you very much for tuning in on this very busy holiday weekend. Got an update coming up at 825, 855, another full update on Live at 9 at 9 o'clock this morning, Central Standard Time for the Mid-South, and also on News Channel 3 at noon. And Jim Jaggers has your forecast into the weekend coming up tonight, starting on News Channel 3, first at 4. Thanks for joining us on News Channel 3 for the live update of Weather Overtime, and stay tuned for much more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the holiday weekend. Thanks for joining us.